In this final part of your DLL capstone, we're asking you to analyze and synthesize all the key aspects and components of the DLL program and the ePortfolio process that contributed to your development as a digital learning and leader. And then share this experience along with the comprehensive organization of all your work. While this is one assignment, you may want to break it down into perhaps three closely related parts. The first part is that you'll create a visual representation of your DLL journey using video, a digital story, Prezi, infographic or graphics, and, or other digital tools that'll help show your audience your journey. This visual representation should include at minimum, but not be limited to where you started who was involved in the process, the highs and lows of your learning process, how you felt through the whole process, what you've created, what have you accomplished, what worked, what you could do better, what lessons you've learned, what you plan to do next. Once again, I need to repeat that this is just a starting point for your synthesis. You need to make this your own. In the second part of this assignment, you'll need to link all your existing work and resources to support your visual representation through a well-organized post that will help further synthesize and support your experiences in the DLL program. Finally, you'll need to make sure that you have organized everything into a cohesive section of your ePortfolio. This should not be a new request because we've been asking you to do this at the end of each of the courses that you've gone through. Now you need to do this for the whole program. Consider the following sections or components of your ePortfolio that you should be including. And about a bio page, great place to put your learning philosophy, your main interests, COVA, CSLE, your projects, which is your innovation plan, have a category section, don't forget your archives, links, if you've got a lot of social media you can connect to, all your connections, your contact information, and a navigational structure. Some reading lists, books, make sure you've got a search engine. Now, by this point in the program, you're more than likely going to have dozens or even hundreds or more pages and posts on your site. So an organizational navigational structure that connects everything together clearly and demonstrates how all the pieces fit together is going to be just crucial. Finally, we want to remind you that this um, is your ePortfolio that you've created. It's part uh, of what you're going to use to serve and support your specific audience. So please keep in mind their needs, how they'll use the site. Uh, you've put a great deal of work into this DLL program, and your ePortfolio has been the one place where all your hard work can be seen and shared with the world. So please do your best to make it easy for your user to have access to all the wonderful work that you've done and help them on their journey toward becoming a digital learning and leader, just like you have become.